Hello, my name is Michael Avery from Cadence Design Systems. The question in hand is, can I cover infinity using SVA properties? And if you've used SVA before, you might think you already know the answer, but I think you may be surprised by this. And the reason for the surprise is a change in the language reference manual from version 2012 onwards. So IEEE standard 1800, which defines a system Verilog language and one chapter of which defines system Verilog assertions, the meaning of cover property has changed. So I suggest you go and look at another video before you watch this one if you weren't aware of that. That change. The title of the video is Why Coverage in SVA May Not Behave As You Think It Would from version 2012 of the LRM. The question here, a simplistic view of cover infinity from every version of the language reference manual would be something like this, cover property and then A, and then we're saying two to the, an infinite number of cycles later we get B. Obviously this dollar is a synonym for infinity, but what does this really mean in this context? Uh, clearly in simulation infinity doesn't mean anything because you can only simulate for a finite number of cycles. In formal analysis, however, you can cover infinity because your design will only have a finite number of states, and once you've visited all those states, then there is nothing new to learn. So that's the equivalent of infinity. Now, the problem with this, if we go back to basics and understand what does cover property mean. So cover in simulation means show me how many times I observe this sequence occurring. This is a potentially infinite length sequence. In formal, what it means is show me an example of this sequence occurring. And in both cases, what you'll get is is a tick in the box which says this property is covered if you observe the shortest pattern which matches that sequence. So if you have A follow two cycles later by B, that is all you're ever going to see. So if in formal you ask for this cover, then what you'll always see, if it's actually possible in the design, is A follow two cycles later by B, which isn't very useful. So infinity doesn't really have any meaning here. So what else can we do with this? So here, if we're talking about a formal tool, really we're getting the same thing from both of these as long as the design is capable of producing a B to cycles after an A. So infinity in this expression is not actually doing much for us. Now the reason for the changes in the language reference manual that's discussed in the other video is because it allows you to do something really useful in formal. So this property looks slightly complicated. So I've tried to make it about something that everyone understands, a counter. So what this is saying, if we ignore for a moment this expression here, one plus and the implication operator, so just consider the expression that I'm kind of drawing my mouse across now. So what this is saying is the count value is always its previous value plus one or its value is zero, i.e. it's wrapped round or it's been reset. Now what does this one plus do? So what one plus means is one means true, so true, and plus means one to infinity. So if I were to come out this full screen mode for a moment, okay, so plus is the same as saying one dollar. So plus is only valid from the 2009 version of the reference manual onwards. So that means from one to an infinite number of times, i.e. always, implies that the count value is one greater or its value zero. Now if I didn't have that plus there, okay, if I did this, I'd be in the same scenario as the previous slide. This will get covered only once. So once I'd seen the count value be either zero or one greater than its previous value, that would be the end of it. That cover is complete. However, adding this thing, allows me to define the right hand side of implication has to be true forever. Now with this property, you notice oh, when I define this property I declared it in one place and I'm applying different verification directives to it here. So if I said assert that property, I would actually be expecting that to fail if I had a design where there are reasons where the count doesn't always keep counting, like there's a counter enable signal, for example, that's held inactive. I would expect to see an assertion fail, but it's not a failure of my design. That's normal functional behavior. Now if I say cover property, the question becomes what am I doing? And it's subtly different, but very powerful. And it's not easy to grasp the first time you see this. So when I say cover this property, what I'm saying is there must always be a possibility that in the future, so that's from one to an infinite number of cycles, this implies that this expression must be true. So it's telling me that it's always possible to increment the counter, not that it has to occur. It's always possible to keep doing it. Okay, and we can apply this to like signals, for example. We can say this signal is always capable of going high again and those kinds of scenarios. So this is what the change in the LRM allows us to do. It allows us to have a cover with implication in it which does something meaningful. Now this means nothing in simulation, it's only really something that you can make use of in formal. So I hope you found that useful, thanks for listening and goodbye.